in Zambia where there's a lot that's going on, Oluchi. All right, now in Zambia economics, the Zambian economics Lubinda Habazuka says the conflict between Russia and Ukraine will destabilize global trade. But Zambia can find a way of benefiting from the situation by tapping into the markets of countries with people that are exiting either country. He says the country can also export fresh produce like fruits and meat products to Russia, which were being recently supplied by Western countries before sanctions were imposed. He further added that Zambia can also take advantage of capital that was moving to Russia by supplying the needed commodities. And right now, we know that the Russian-Ukraine war is beginning to have its impact globally, not just in Zambia, but in every other country that, that is into international trade at this point in time. Now, we know the Western countries have, have issued certain sanctions. Economic sanctions have been, have been imposed in the country. That means that people who are living in Russia can barely do certain transactions, especially when it comes to finances in the country. Also, we know that um, Russia is one of the largest exporters of oil and gas um, to other Western countries as well. Now, Russia has come out to say that if they decide to go on with the sanctions when it comes to in, when it comes to export of product at this point in time, that there will be repercussions. Now, as we speak, the currency in Russia, ruble, is down by 30% when you're looking at it, comparing it to the international currencies across the world at large. And a lot of people are coming out and are appealing to the Russian president, uh, Vladimir Putin, to come out and do the needful to a ceasefire at the moment. Now, let's not forget that there was a ceasefire that was supposed to take place over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, but that ceasefire did not happen. And the ceasefire was supposed to take place to allow civilians to leave the shores of Ukraine to neighboring countries like Poland. And as we speak, according to the information from UN, over 1.7 million people have fled the country of Ukraine to other neighboring countries. Let's also not forget that we brought you the story just yesterday of how African countries have been ensuring that they take out their own citizens from Ukraine and more. The Nigerian government has also done their own part to remove a lot of Nigerians, especially Nigerian students who were in Ukraine. And a lot of them came in from Wednesday last week up until this moment.